I got from Barnard and Columbia was that you could be who you were, and if that didn't fit any mold, that was okay. We have regional representatives, we have alumni ambassadors, and it's been a real privilege to be a part of this. It was an amazing experience to be able to have these different classmates become almost an extended family. You are being recognized today for your commitment to connecting your fellow alumni to Columbia and to one another. Armand Adams from Columbia College. I came here from Cleveland, Ohio. Peter Johnson was the director of admissions at Columbia University, and he actually was from Ohio. When he first walked into the room, I said, you know, who's this guy? It looks like a sharp Billy D. Williams. <laughs> when I came to visit Columbia. I actually came to visit October 11th, 2001, exactly one month after 9-11. But still stepping on, on through these gates and seeing this campus, I realized there was nothing that was gonna stop me from coming here. I actually remember taking a jazz class with Professor Robert O'Mealy. The class was called The Art of Improvisation. It allowed me to look at how I do things in life. I did enjoy the core to be in that class and sit next to someone from Arkansas and from someone from Brazil. I realized like, wow, this is an amazing experience to have this type of diversity and culture. I was part of the Black Student Organization, eventually becoming the senior chair, and helping put together Black Graduation, where we acknowledge the difficulty and the challenge for a black student. As president of the Black Alumni Council, we had the, the goal of becoming a university-wide organization. And at the time, we were just a Columbia College organization. It was important for us to be able to break down these walls. Through the CAA, I've been able to be the co-chair of Leaders Weekend. I've been able to be part of the Alumni and Clubs Committee. And then now, starting this new organization, the Real Estate Network of Columbia Alumni Association, RINSA, it's nothing like having that feeling to be able to go to your database of family members and ask them a question. <laughs> Armin Adams, Columbia College. I never was expecting it, especially at this point in time. Uh, so I was definitely very surprised to, to receive the medal. I believe to be an engaged alumni is actually to be able to cultivate and grow the extended family you had when you back when you're back in college. And that's why I'm involved now. Working full time and going to graduate school full time at Columbia was very challenging. Kirsten Frivold Emohison from SEPA. The SEPA EMPA program, which is the Executive Masters in Public Affairs, is a very unique program for individuals who are in mid career looking to go back to graduate school. I studied nonprofit management, international economic policy, statistics, economics. We were able to participate in many group projects together and it became really fun to get together after work on the weekends and really create that bond. While I was a student, a classmate and I realized that we loved the EMPA program so much just because of all of the courses, the professors, that we wanted to create an alumni organization amongst ourselves. And so the EMPA forum was spawned from our participation in the program. After I graduated, the EMPA Forum continued and I was very involved with curating panels, discussions with professors, and it was a great way to stay connected with Columbia. In 2006, when SEPA had its 60th year anniversary, a formal SEPA Alumni Association was formed at the time and the Dean at the time asked me to be part of its Executive Council. I was humbled to be asked to speak at the SEPA graduation. The message was that you are now an alum and you are part of a family, both a SEPA family and a Columbia family, so please stay connected. Being a member of the CAA board has provided me with an opportunity to learn so much more about what Columbia University has to offer. As chair of the programs committee of the CAA, we helped to cultivate and curate activities that are university-wide. My daughters and some of their friends have had the opportunity to attend the family STEM day, meet astronauts, meet scientists. Over 500 people came to campus for one day of activities and it's been going on for four years. Walking out from Low Library into the vast sea of blue was overwhelming uh, and very, very humbling. And seeing all of those international flags was really just so powerful and amazing. 
for me, going to school at um, Barnard and then at Columbia was really a gift. Miriam Benacarum from Barnard College, SEPA, and Business School. I was a kid who grew up outside of the States. My parents um, immigrated to the U.S. after the Iranian Revolution, first to Paris, then to Northern California. As a kid who'd come and really tried to fit in and assimilate, there was no assimilation in New York. You could be anybody you wanted to be. You sort of had the opportunity to just be yourself. I just joined every single club. I had an internship almost every semester. So I took classes with Andrew Sears in the film school. I took classes with Gary Sick in the International Fair School. And I took my classes at Barnard. Um, I took a class with Brzezinski. Your curiosity could be boundless, and that's sort of what New York and Columbia really gave you. I think what I got from the business school in SEPA was the understanding of how to be a leader, and particularly a global leader. I met my husband Andy actually while I was at Columbia Business School. Actually, I was with a girlfriend, Gady. We were getting on the subway um, right here at 116th Street, and we realized we didn't know the homework assignment, and we recognized somebody from our macroeconomics class. It's how it goes. And I always joke that, you know, really, we met on the subway. I found a family when I came to Columbia, and in that way, it was easy to continue being part of it. From working in the phone bank to being part of an effort around reunion to being part of the Columbia Alumni Association for two terms. And then most recently, I agreed to be an executive in residence at the School of Professional Studies. I'm inherently somebody who believes in like connective tissue. I sort of generated that myself as a freshman here. And so to be part of the entire university is this incredible opportunity. And my daughter now currently attends Barnard. Watching her at Barnard, it's so clear it was the right place for her in the sense that Barnard just has this ability to give you like the confidence to grow into yourself. It was so amazing to be at commencement. It's so hopeful to look out at a sea of 40,000 graduates just starting. It just makes me want to be a student all over again. <laughs> wow.